Are you starting a new thing, a business, a job, a ministry, education, or anything you've never done before? So this is for you. This video will give you insights on starting something new in your life. So please, please, please stay with me until the end of this video. Just start here. I perspire to inspire, not to expire. How to start new things in your life. Before anything else, Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to keep you updated. And you may also leave a comment so that I may know how I can be of help to you. A new thing is not a bad thing. Mostly kasi sa atin, we are resistant to change because we wanted to let things stay as they are. We wanted to remain in our comfort zone. With all the daily routines and you think that nothing is happening in your life, dumating ka na sa punto na I need to make things anew. There is just a sudden urge in you. Or maybe you are in an unexpected situation that you need to start a new thing. Tumating lang sa buhay mo. Whatever it is, hope this video will help you to smoothen the course of starting a new thing in your life. So here are four D's for you. Tip number one. The first D. Decision. Are you decided to make a new thing in your life? If not, what are the factors that hold you back? If you are undecided at my hesitation sa'yo, if you're going to start, then these things will not work out for you. You must need to have a strong decision to do it. Because along the way, you may give up. One of the factors that make us hold back is fear. Natatakot, baka hindi na makayanan. I am not capable of it. O di kayay, maybe it will just fail. Marami lang yung nasa isip natin. Actually, fear is just there. But if you allow fear to overrule you, then you will never gonna stop. There is a risk and there are sacrifices that you're going to make. I never said that it will be easy. Sa totoo lang, ito yung pinakamahirap na part. Yung pagsisimula. Baby, magsimula tayo muli. It will be better this time. Ay, ay, ay. Tip number two. The second D, drive. What drives you to do this? What are your driving forces? Ano yung nagpupush sa'yo? For example, what drives me to have a YouTube channel? Basically, I wanted to earn aside from my present job. But most importantly, I have this passion. I wanted to bless people and set an atmosphere of positivity when everyone's becoming negative, especially that we are facing the COVID pandemic crisis right now. And the winner is candidate number five, Miss Joseph! <laughs> My driving forces are passion, people, and pep, 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 pep. Yung drive natin, it will help us maintain doing what we started out. Even na nahihirapan tayo. You will remember why did you start anyway. It is because you love your family, you are passionate about this, you wanted to help, wanted to expand your influence or whatever it is please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for notification tip number
number three. The third D. Direction. Ano ang patutunguhan ng ginagawa mo? What do you foresee of this for the next years? What is the end of this? Put the end in mind. This will set direction in what you are doing. Without direction, everything will be messy. You will jump into things unnecessary sa paglago ng ginagawa mo. And you will be lost. Need to focus on your goal. Okay? Shoot! Try again! Akala mo nga, hindi kita masyushoot ha? Naku! Sabla! Ulit! When you are focused on your goal, you know how to organize. You plan ahead, manage your time, arrange activities, and even put extra effort in it. Tip number four. The last D. Determination. Are you determined for this job? Are you willing to go on even if it is getting difficult? Are you tough enough? Ay, naku! Problema na naman! Suko na ko! Please, tama na! You can choose to easily give up. But you can also choose to be determined. Problems along the way will test kung gaano ka katibay at determinado. Starting a new thing is not an easy path. You have to really be determined because things may get difficult. Whatever people will say, whatever you will hear from them, this should not get into your heart. Do not curse them, but learn from them and improve. These are not good reasons to quit. When I say determined, I see a person on fire and ready to tackle whatever comes his way. But when you seem giving up, look back again what drives you into this and come back at your feet better and stronger okay hope that helps please don't forget to subscribe to my channel